receding hairlines. Let's talk about it. I want to do this video uh, because I, you know, as a man, understand this situation and I'd like to help other men out that don't understand the situation and is living a lie, okay? <laughs> Look, thinning hair, I understand, y'all. You never want to lose your hair, all right? Uh, I'm slightly thinning myself, okay? And I'm going to go into a few things I want to talk about with thinning and balding and what you can do about it and what you need to realize, <laughs> okay? Now, I, um, I started to thin a few years ago. I would say around 2006 or seven, something like that. And uh, what's funny is me and my brother started thinning around the same time from the same spot. Um, he has half of his hair left, okay? I have, I would say, 95% of my hair left, okay? I've receded a little bit, but not much. I'm going to tell y'all what worked for me when I, uh, when, when, when I figured it out, when I was like, damn, I'm losing my hair. You know, y'all know me. I'm Mr. Natural. I like to look up a lot of natural things and organic things. So I went online and checked out a few things that were natural, okay? I didn't want to take any drugs because I know things like minoxidil, stuff like that, have their side effects with men. And while they do grow the hair back, they can cause some issues. So I said, you know what? Let me look up the natural things. I was on a supplement. I don't remember the name of it, fellas. But you can find it if you look online. Um, it did actually thicken my hair a little bit. It worked out. And there was another thing I was doing at the same time. That's the time when I was on my crusade for natural living and keeping myself healthy because, of course, my mother had just died. So I was looking into things to keep myself healthy. I was eating a lot of organic food. Um, at one point, I, I didn't want to pay for the supplement anymore. I just, you know, you know how it is. It gets, you know, bills and this and that. So I stopped. I realized my hair stayed where it was. And the only other thing that I could contribute it to was eating organic. And that's what I've been doing forever. And look, okay, it's, it's still there. I still got my hair. If you were to compare me and my brother's hair, it's, you know, he's, I don't know if he'll ever get his hair back. He may. I've heard of men actually growing their hair back from cleansing and eating organic. Um, I know a lot of you don't believe, oh, no, it says that. No, yeah, I know. It says and they say is throw it out the fucking door because there's a lot of things that they say that ain't true anymore, okay? But, so he could actually get his hair back. I mean, he's been cleansing. He's been, you know, eating organic for a long time. But um, for a while, he was rocking his hair and, you know, he didn't realize, you know, how far back his wig was. You know what I mean? There's certain actors out there that uh, they realize either they didn't and their publicist told them or something because... After a while, you know, it don't work no more, fellas. The comb overs, you know, uh, you still want your hair so bad that your wig is back here, okay, and you're still getting it shaped up and faded. I mean, come on, you, are you kidding me? <laughs> I seen dudes wearing an afro where, like, it was just like, it was like the Sherman Hemsley, by the way, rest in peace, brother. He's one of the greatest of all time, the greatest funny man of all time. But it's like the Sherman Hemsley joint. Like, seriously? Like, you really think when we, when men look at you, when women especially look at you, you think they're like, that's a guy's a good ass haircut. <laughs> or women like, yeah, he's, you know, he's, mm, he's sexy. No, they don't look at you and think that. They think it, damn, he is chasing a dream. He is really chasing the dream. I mean, I'm sure, like, like y'all know I'm fans of The Rock. Y'all know The Rock was receding when we, when we were introduced to him. He was receding, you know what I mean? When he became the man, when he was building popularity, he was receding at that point. And after he hit Hollywood, he was still receding. And uh, finally, I'm sure he said, fuck it. I'm sure he walked into the barber shop and said, The Rock's hairline is receding, but it doesn't matter to The Rock. Because what The Rock wants you to know is that he was electrifying with his hair, and he'll be electrifying without his hair. And The Rock wants to prove to you and to you, and the big goof holding the boom mic, and this fat female pig gawking at The Rock, that The Rock will always be simply electrifying. <laughs> Yeah, he probably said that. He probably walked right to the barber and said that. And, you know, I'm thinking, you know, who else was going bald? Uh, who we got? Uh, Bruce Willis. God damn. He was, <laughs> he was receding forever. Rocking that 
whatever, yeah, yeah that shit's gone. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. He he shaved all that shit off, didn't he? I mean, who else? Um, Samuel L. Jackson. Now he probably walked into the barber and was like, My hair's almost gone, motherfucker! Shave it! Yeah, they deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell! So y'all can see is from my point is that a lot of men have figured out that it ain't working and they look better bald. Okay, my brother looks better bald. Samuel L. Jackson looks better bald. The Rock looks better bald right now. Although he looked great with the hair, you know what I'm saying? He could go either way. There's a lot of dudes could go either way. All these men could go either way. But the fact of the matter is, if it's time and you look like you're chasing a dream, you need to get rid of that shit, okay? Now, there's exceptions to the rule. There's actually some dudes that the receding hairline actually works for. But I think they tend to be famous men because we're so used to their character being that way. Like, uh, and the only person that, that I can think of off the top of my head is Jack Nicholson. He's still receding. He's been receding for a very long time, too. But he's still receding, but it works with him. Because he's Jack Nicholson, you know, I can't really explain it, but it works, you know what I mean? So, but, and then, you know, I, I'll tell you this, if it was me, if it was me, okay, and the thrill was gone, and it, the thrill was gone, if it was gone, and it was time, and people looking at me funny, I'm going to do one or two things. I'm going to shave it bald, or I'm going to look into uh, hair plugs, because I know from what I understand, I've seen the commercials. Now hair plugs look better than ever. They said it used to look like doll hair and all this other shit in the hair, but now it looks like you'll never know that the man had had, had hair plugs put in. Yeah, and that hurt they financed the shit, so if your credit's fucked up and you're balding, fix your credit and go get a loan and get your hair plugs in. But uh, I can't think of nothing else. Like, you know, just, just know how it looks, okay? You know how they tell you you should dress for success and look the part and be the part? If you want to be the man, <laughs> the receding hairline is not fucking working. Trust me. Ask a bunch of women. And women, you can comment on this and let me know what y'all think, all right? Peace.